Hey, and good to see you again. Hold as a phrasal verb, verb plus a preposition. Uh, hold itself on its own has many meanings and there are many options when it comes to phrasal verbs with hold. Hold on, for example, when you're on the bus and you perhaps have an erratic driver, which is just the normal driver here in Budapest. Hold on, physically hold on for safety. You don't want to fall over. It can also mean to, uh, to keep and not let go. If you bought some Twitter shares in the past, uh, you will have noticed that uh, Elon Musk has finally bought Twitter for just a couple of billion dollars, 44, I think. Hold on to those shares. Uh, keep them for a longer time. It can mean wait. Hold on. I'm not quite ready. Hold on. I want to check that I've locked the doors again. You've checked them. It's just hold on a minute longer while I go and check them for a third time, please. And thank you. And yet hold on can mean carry on. Uh, to, to endure, to not give up yet. Hold down. Yes, physically, uh, hold down. You run away from the police. I'm sure that's a regular uh, thing for you. They catch you, you struggle to escape and the police hold you down. They physically hold you down. But hold down can also mean to keep a job for a longer time. Austin in the past has found it difficult to hold down a job. He would get two or three weeks into it, misbehave, which is very unlike him, and then he would find it hard to hold down that job. The boss could come, oi, get out, you know? Uh, that's what would happen. To hold something back, or to hold someone back, to hold something back is to not give all of the information about a subject, to keep something a little bit secret. Hold something back. I don't give my all, my everything. To hold someone back is really quite tough, is to not allow them to fulfill their dreams, their ambitions, to not let them be themselves. In a relationship, we sometimes hold our partners back. We don't give them the space and the freedom to, to be themselves. To hold out is another wait for something better. Hold out. Not yet, not yet. Hold out a bit longer. It's going to be better. I like that. Just one more. To hold up. Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, hold up can also mean to wait. Hold up. I'm not quite ready. Just doing my last bit of makeup. Mm. Hold up also means to rob a bank, strangely. Go in with your gun, with your knife. Oi, give us your money now to hold up a bank, to rob a bank. And just two idioms with, with hold. I like idioms or phrases. Uh, we use them often in English. Hold on to your hats. Well, I'm not, I'm not wearing a hat right now, but Austin, hold on to your hats, plural. Things are about to go crazy. Things are about to get even worse than they are. The energy crisis, I appreciate that we are all struggling with the rising costs of energy. But hold on to your hats, because that crisis hasn't really begun yet. Winter is just starting. Hold on to your hats. And... Hold, hold, hold your tongue. Please don't physically do that. It, it really doesn't feel nice. Hold your tongue. It's very strong, very powerful. Don't speak or shut up. Oi, hold your tongue. When we know someone's going to say something that we don't want them to say, hold your tongue. Quite strong. There are many meanings of hold when it comes to phrasal verbs, and perhaps you know of some more. Put them in the comments, like, subscribe, get your friends to subscribe. Um, I want to beat my brother when it comes to uh, subscribers. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out my other videos, follow me for more, and I will see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.